Hello everyone, and welcome to a game called Outer Wild. I have no idea what this game is about. Absolutely no idea. I just saw it like on TikTok, and people were saying like, games that change your perspective on life, and Soma was one of them, and then Outer Wilds was one of them, and I liked Soma, so if this game will make me question myself like Soma did, I think it will be pretty good. So, with that being said, let's get to it. Here we go. Wake up. Oh my god. Do I have to play through the remote, the controller? Because I do not want to play through the controller. There's our pilot. Break back from your pre-launch camp out under the star of IC. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go. I'm glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight re-entry grade aluminium alloys, you know. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch crews from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay, let me just check if I can use my mouse and keyboard. Because I'm much better. Yeah, sorry, controller people, but that's not. How do I know when it's ready? Yeah, see, now it seems... Is there no jumping? I don't know if it's ready, okay. So I guess I have to... Oh! You're leaving us to seek adventure among the stars. When you return, let... What's happening? Yeah, me. When you return, let you, me and Gossan open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. The other stars are too far away. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy your travel with people. Uh -huh. Let's talk to Tim. You're blasting off in that thing, huh? I'm told the odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space program has certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Use satellite camera. What's 
same to thing. This is where we are. Okay, okay leave. Leave. Oh, see, the, this part it is used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar. Is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtaking liberal definition of flight, that they will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in the he Harthian history. Watch this. So there's nothing here. I don't know how. It's probably that, right? Or that. We go there. Can I open? I cannot. Aha. Uh -huh. Launch tower. But I want to go to the observatory. And I don't know where it is. Climb all the ship. Oh. 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 Landed. Okay, uh, let's leave because. Oh! Where did you come from? What a landing! I guess that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? I don't know if that was a great landing, but. Thank you. Observatory, here we go. Hello. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. He wants to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate. And not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we, please? We'll even let you be it. Sure, let's play. Okay, here are the rules. Glenn and me will hide with these radios and you use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start count. Oh, I have four eyes. I found you. Already. Oh, it wasn't. Uh oh. How do I leave? You. I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. You're welcome. Oh. Hello there, Spice Cadets. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Just saying hi before I leave. Take care of yourself up in space. I will. Okay. Let's really go to the observatory now. What are you doing? Hi, astronaut. 
you know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Ghost had said it, it used to be bigger when they were hatched. Because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long way to get. I just said ghost matter goes when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super cool. Yeah, I hear touching it hurts so bad. It feels like your whole hand is on fire. Try not to walk into into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. What if I just... Okay, so there's also nothing really here to be done. Beeps. I saw smoke coming out from Young Bark's grave up north, and I figured I should check it out. You can use the scout la launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. I will not break. Scout launch. Aim launcher launch. What am I supposed to do? East. South. So north should be here. So I'm. I guess I'm. Ooh. I guess I'm going north. Who are you, Bullsan? Hey, I thought I might see you before the big one. Not getting better of you. Uh, hey, don't worry about, about it. Your nerves are between you and me and the vast endlessness of space. But really, you'll find. You'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about that ship, if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic, lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the Zero-G cave, and in, need of, and in need of repairs. If you look... I can get to see it. Cool, get to it, and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Alright. Oh, set for flashlight. Oh, this is fun. Do that. Ooh, ah. oh. Hey, that's supposed to drop down. Give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt, not much happening down here lately, let me think. Come to think of it, Packhead saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Oh hey, how about that? Yeah, they were on the fire watch with the old scout launch when it saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said that to take it. Tacky tight ones. Pretty rude how long they left for, if you ask me. Okay.
Holy shit. Oh my god. This is interesting. Okay, I have to get near it and match its velocity and then I can repel it. Aha! Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Yes, it done. Of course, it will be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through the space, through space. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. You can see you're reaching to get off this rock. We will get launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed. Now that I've put so much time into training, you got it. Where's the observatory? That way. Okay. Oh, that's the observatory. Makes sense. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Clockwise from top left. Hornfells, Gosan, Slate, and Feldspar. Outer Wild Ventures Timber, Arts. First and only space problems formed to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Hellspar was the first Harthian to be intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Atler Rock. The fuck are you? Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last. Hi, buddy. It's a translation, the translator tool inaugural flight too. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any no my text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inve inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Aha, oh geez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? Excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since you were a hatchling. Since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the date? You are here to see the new Nomai statue? New? You haven't heard? Gabro brought it back with them from the giant's deep and Hornfels just finished prepping for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? It makes me wish I could see what real life Nomai looked like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue we've ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Okay. So they look like goats with three eyes. Okay. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished constructing and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the other rock's lack of atmosphere 
atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all, this time I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Okay, so... It's his writing, I guess. There's a lot of stuff, and although I would like to... Oh my god... He's ugly. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark bramble. To dark bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Okay. What is this? Touch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so why? What do you think caused this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Atlar rock, gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling you right now. Oh, they really are moving. That's interesting. to talk to you. Port belts. There you are. I just finished finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Know My Fans Little Tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. You're, we are better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's our plan once you're into space? Uh, I'm gonna wing it. I guess. Planning to follow in the footsteps of Svelspar and the great outer world ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translated tool of yours to good use while you're up there. Well, then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a lunch. I'm ready to go. We'll be needing these launch codes. Here they are, best get off the ground before a slate makes any more modifications to the ship. Hey, good luck out there. Let me know if I can help with anything. Mm, okay. So now I just... Ooh. What is this? Strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level header among us realized there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but gravel claims the rock exists in all possible states until it's observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Oh! 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 It is funny. It is funny. Anyway. Oh my god! What the fuck is happening? Okay, this is what I just did. Excuse me, Mr. Goat. The fuck did you just do to me? Oh, Jesus. It's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. The statue was doing what? So its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like, medically speaking? 
No, that's th that was definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfeld tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gra Gabro said they're going back to Giant's Deep to know which island they're on, though. Maybe, maybe they'll able, they, they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you better get off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going to space. Hey, see if I can use our translation tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Thank you. Here we are. How do I know it's ready? Goodbye, Slate. Enter launch codes. It is time for me to leave. Do that. Village. Okay, so I guess we either go to Giant's Deep or the Apple Rock. Let's go to Apple Rock. I guess. No, don't open the hatch. Buckle up! And buckle your map. Oh, but there was also somebody here, right? So maybe let's see what they're up to. How do I... Uh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. What is this butthole you're looking at? Hey, you hatchling. Hope you're taking that thin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures of my little scout. My little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. So, what crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant scene, but it's not anything I've seen on Timberheart before. And trust me. I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you think it's extra extraterrestrial? It kind of looks like something that might have come of dark bramble, whatever it is. I'll put down roots. It will put it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hashling, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. No one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a beekeeper can. I'll have, I'll have to get to look at what's inside the seed first though. I don't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a bad idea of what's inside. Tuff can help me hold the old... Tuff can help me hold the old scout launcher over here. Obviously the opening is too small for some of it inside. In any way I'm not going to blindly stick my hand into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. Put 
log update. Okay, back up again then. Okay. So where should we go? I'm not sure. So where is the moon? Is this the moon? No, this is giant steep. This is the sun. Where is the moon? What and what it wait, what is that? Let's see what this is about. Holy shit. Oh my god. Easy. Easy. What is this? So I guess it's just a whole open world game and I have to find out for myself what I should do and what I shouldn't. We'll see. What is this? Church research notes. Property of church. I detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the groove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. I don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it, but I hopefully studying the signal in the groove will, re will reveal more about it. Okay! So let's... Where is the strange signal? Bro, this scares the shit out of me. Why does the sounds have to be like that? Ah, it's the one that changes places when you're not looking at it. to go to the moon and that's where I'll be going if I can find it. What are you? The Athalon. This is it. I'll go to it. To the Athalon rock. Holy shit. Did I land on the moon? I did. Oh. Okay, so there's a crater here. Not much to see. It seems. Ooh. Oh, hello.
Refill jetpack. Play recording. Charts research notes. Property of chart. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice in the outskirts of dark bramble. I I posit the atolock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where the dark bramble now lives lies. The follow up on maybe there are a few more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. Okay, share fuel. Because I'm not sure where I should go next. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Did I seriously just jump off the fucking planet? Wait, is this where I should have landed? I hope not. Because this is 100% not where I landed. S-curse signal scope log. Still not picking up Rebex banjo from Brittle Hall. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll do better once I can hear the music. Day 51. Listen to shirt play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell Orphe and Gor Gossan they're Flirting is not suitable for an air aerial perspective. Jesus, this game has a lot of weird words. The 55th. 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rebex doing okay. That old. I was worried. Today I thought I heard something. Strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timberheart. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timberheart sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be then. Day 88, it's still here. This is creepy. Maybe the my signal scope is broken? I better talk to Gnace. Okay, so... Anything else in this rock? So now we're on the south pole. Aha! Watch this then. So confused as to what I'm doing here. Oh, trees detected. Is it? Also, target text. <laughs> Colliers, I was upset testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep, and brittle hollow. Colliers. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eyes signal. The device indicator rotates and wildly and never points to just one direction. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Breathe it, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It sent me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to look at the eye of the universe. Mm -hmm. Then we will, we will build it. Don't lose hope. Cassava. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. 
What's this? What's this then? I'm scrolling. Insert scrolling. Oh! Patch. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Anana and those of us are originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. But the heart of the sun is made. But the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building it on that plan. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Con Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin constructing on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately now. Okay. So we should go to Brittle Hollow. Oh. Okay, wow, wow. I've seen this ruin in other travels pictures, but seeing it for myself. It's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of no mile locator. It can point out different planets, which is incredibly cool. But, by the way, but from what it like I understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in this old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. All stars above. Okay. So it seems now I understood a bit better. Now it's aligned with this planet, so when we look there, we see the planet. So, okay. And when we put this one, the planet is there, it seems. And when you put it in eye, you can find anything. Okay, understood, chief. You mean an Aha! Uh -huh. This is what you meant. Esker. Oh hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time we'll see. Actually I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travels come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Shirt comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro, and you know how Rebek feels about the necessary space flight. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you want to ask? What seems lonely up here? A little. I'm in touch with ground control, hornfells and ghosts on mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers, since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. Let alone in our village. Mm, what's with... What was... Was that you whistling jeans I can't read? Probably, or actually definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best post for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked on the red on the map, but the other lock is pretty small mode, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. Talk to you later. What the fuck just happened? Excuse me?
Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? Ship's all fueled up. All fueled and ready to go. Did, did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something. You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's a tradition to sleep out under the stars night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes you a bit jumpy. Okay, so what? Do I have like... Do I have like X amount of time to, uh, to explore everything and then I just die? Always? And come back? Because if so, I'm out of here. What? So something just blew up while I was on the moon. What? This is the crater. But wait, then I'm so confused. I'm not a good flyer. Oh, wait, no, wait, stop. Oh no. Oh no. What is happening? Oh lord. Wait. My ship! My ship! Well, anyways. I'm gonna go down. Okay, what is this? Translate. Mining site, 2B. Oh. Easy. Easy, bro. Okay, so I'm so confused. I think I lost my shit. Oh, great. Some bones. Can I not take them back? Oh no! Am I under water? What is happening? Is this another skeleton? Oh, wait, no. I'm amazed by, by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built in on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ashtwin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ashtwin's core. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearths or only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed our ability to create. 
they're sealing off all entrances. I hope they've planned the. They've planned ac accordingly. Jesus. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Kogis. How else would he improve? Okay. Ship log updated. Great, great. That is if I knew where my ship was. But he's just gone. Pick up Ashtwin Projection Stone. Insert Ashtwin Projection Stone. What? I'm so confused. My gratitude for the latest shipment, though, I know. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for the final check, specifically mine? If my work is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better. As the smallest floor opening in the shell that protects the Ashton project could lead to disaster. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure that there are no longer any physical entrances. Raimi and I will be checking the interior of the and then the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. And my ship is. Somewhere. Oh, what's on this side? I did not go here yet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Shows me all I've seen. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Okay, let's go. So now I wanna go somewhere. What are you, giant steep? No. The sun. Yes. Let's fly into the sun. thought it would at least be <laughs> I don't know an achievement <laughs> Fuck me There What 
What is that? This is what I want, yes. Come on. Or this then? No, stop, stop, stop. Control module. Launch module. And probe tracking module. Let's go here first. Ah, I see. Well, then how about this one? Jesus. So this could be such a good horror game. Oh my goodness. Just let me see what I have to do over here. Launch. Put it there. No, wait. I don't know what. Fifty percent. Kasava is sending the last of the cannon components soon. Relatively speaking, we'll know the ice precise location. Kasava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined the power setting are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. And am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit with. Nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our, our nature, so I suggest we do. <laughs> Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart temperature, my lord. Okay, so take it out. And put it on the bench and pick this one up. What do you say? I have bad news, Evans. Yaro says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. 
I hope you're pulling my lo locomo locomotive limb here, Casova. Casava. I wish I were my friend, but no. They aren't certain that they can fix a problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Malo they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mal and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. Okay, what happens if I put you here? I'm still not sure what this does, but for now, let's see what this does. Eight minutes and zero seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twins. Can online with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Okay, and then. It launched something. And then it broke apart. Because they didn't follow the instructions. I see. Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successfully. Probe tracking module receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Orbital probe cannon damage reports. Severe structural stress de detected. Assessing damage to modules. Control module intact. No structural damage. Launch model. Viewport window fractured. Model exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module missing. Ah, so if I go outside and I go to the probe tracking module. I can track the probe and see where the center of the universe is. Okay, let's try and find it. Come on, ship. Buckle up. Now. That's what I'm looking for, I think. Is it? No. What did I do? I'm so fucked if I go outside.
So, this did not go as planned. What the fuck is that? Okay, no, 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 forget it, forget it. We're going up, we're going up, we're going up. We are going up. Okie dokie. What is this? This is where I just was, correct? Correct. So, that is just a cannon thingy. Where are you going? Oh. Come closer. No, this one. see I need to find where the rest of you is let's go ah was this still not enough wait what's this Let's see then. It's you! Yeah, bro. Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first slow launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep like dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately? Or just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. And has been behaving unusual lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. You're taking it pretty well. Heh, <laughs> right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences, and I've been... I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones that who can tell that time has gone all weird. I tried radio Hornfeld and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfeld about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything different. And there's another weird one for you. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure it's related to that big stone no my statue I found in one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes, just like what happens each time I die. That happens to me with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? Then the no my statues must have something to do with why we're the ones who have the time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory, but if you find anything out, anything new about the statues or time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, that's what's new with me, but hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. Let's talk about you, you know? How's space treating you? Pounced. Nice, what you got from me? Found your quantum poem. Yeah, the one in the woods, I remember writing that. Pretty fun, right? It works out. It works out to a good 24 poems. When I'm done exploring, I want to make some more quantum art. Maybe some kind of creature sculpting that just like shows up and scares the devil out of me. Have you ever watched a cycle for so long it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they'll put you in a trance for seven moments. 
Should I try it? I found something. Nice, what you got? Whoa! That's the cannon brick. Uh, excuse me, are we about to die? What? Wait! What just happened? What the fuck just happened? Uh, broski. We just got launched off the planet. My guy. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. Whoa, that's a cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop. For real? Did you figure out why? Too much power. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slate or Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised the Nova built something that actually broke. Come to think of it though, broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. I found your ship. Oh, cool. So it's floating in the ocean, huh? Did it look like it was having a good time? This dude doesn't give a fuck about anything. Oh, there we go. Goodbye, my friends. I guess we'll all die. This game, I have no idea what's happening. My guess is we have X amount of time before something happens and we have to find out what happened and how to break the time loop. This is my thought process. But I think Three, technically three loops there. See? There it is. Bricks. And then you have three pieces and one just flew that way. Okay. Okay, so next thing I'll try to do is... Maybe next episode, because... Let's just say I've been playing this for a long time already is try to use one of these, because they seem to still be throwing people, you know, throwing stuff, into this planet. That's what I'm trying to do next. But anyways, can I doze off? What does this mean? Just sleep. If I don't wake up, I just die but maybe this is a good way to see how much time we've got anyways I'll use this time to remind you to please like and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate every single one of you who subscribes and likes. Oh, there we go. There we go. I did not see. I think it was like 19, 20. No, 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 Oh my god. Sub. Yes. Come on. 
There we go. We can now see it in 4K. Okay, so I think it's one day. I think we have one day to figure something out and then it explodes and then we start again. I see. I understand it now. I understand. Maybe. A bit. But I guess we'll see what happens in the next episode. Because I think I already got sort of an idea. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. And it's gone. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I'm not sure what to say. I'm still trying to figure out the game. I think I've got the basic premise of the game, maybe, figured out. But we'll see how it goes in the next episode. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!